Dwayne The Rock Johnson backtracked on a recent episode of the Joe Rogan Experience after he claimed to have friends who support President Joe Biden. I have friends who support Trump. I have friends who support Biden. I have friends. Do you really have friends who support Biden? I do. <laughs> Come on. Well, no, 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 no. Here's, here's what I do. I have, I have friends. Thank you. That's a good check because that's important. <laughs> this is important context. They support the Democratic Party. I have friends who are loyal to the party. Joe and The Rock also delved into California Governor Gavin Newsom's latest timely response to the homeless crisis overtaking San Francisco. Let's watch that. Do you see what's going Absolutely. on in San Francisco? Whatever. San Francisco's Xi Jinping is going to visit and a bunch of Chinese, a bunch of world leaders, but Xi Jinping particularly. And so they cleaned up all the homelessness. They, they took all the tents out and they put fences up everywhere where the, so the people can't, can't camp out anymore. We don't even know what they did with them. I was just going to ask, well, what did they do with them? See, the, see if you can find a video of it. It's crazy. And then you got Gavin Newsom on TV who's making excuses for it. He's like, yeah, we did. Well, when people come over to visit, you know, you, uh, you clean your house up. Like, how about you f***ing clean your Take house up? Take care of it first. All the time. I don't know. Questioning that timing there of what happened with Gavin Newsom's policy is interesting considering Gavin Newsom's a presidential, presidential hopeful and supposedly The Rock is as well. It seems like he's grappling in the realm of politics and he says that he will only run if the people want him to, which is a very humble approach to politics. Uh, if you're going to run for president, you're going to run for president because you want to. To coyly say, well, if the people want me to run, I'll run, and then have polling come out that shows people like you more than Joe Biden, sounds like you're shaping up for a presidential bid. I don't know. It sounds like that's what's going on here between Rogan and The Rock. Yeah, people have been trying to recruit The Rock to run for president for quite some time. I think his name first started to be floated maybe around 2015 when it became clear that it was going to be a Trump versus Hillary Clinton race. Sort of the same speculation that's been surrounding Michelle Obama for quite some time. But I do find this clip about Gavin Newsom to be quite funny because he did admit to clearing out the homeless encampments because of Xi's visit, saying that is true because it is true, which really knocks down the claim from San Francisco officials that they haven't been able to clear out the encampments because there's a regulation regarding how much shelter space has to be available in order for them to clear out these encampments because obviously the people in the tents have to have somewhere to go. Um, but if that regulation were really binding, then it wouldn't have taken Xi coming to visit for the APEX summit in order that for them to make a change. They could have done that at any period of time. So that whole excuse, that whole explanation for why they weren't doing anything about this issue was totally bogus. Yeah, it's good to point out Gavin Newsom's just hypocrisy here. He claims to be some kind of progressive who cares about human beings. But to talk about a population of people living on the streets without access to housing, without homes to go to sleep in, to, to talk about it like it's trash or dirtiness that you clean up in your house before China comes over? Like, really? That is an insane way to talk about people who are struggling. To say, when you have guests coming over, you clean up the house. Uh, Rogan and The Rock laugh it off, but that's a really serious and disgusting thing to say. Was it a joke that Newsom was making? No, because it's a very obvious and real policy. They're right to question it, but I don't know if I would laugh it off. And if I was running for president, I don't know if I would laugh it off either. It just feels really gross to me to talk about people that way. But it seems obvious to me that The Rock is a political contender here. And homelessness is a crisis across the United States of America. They're right to point out that we should be doing something all of the time. But to laugh it off doesn't give me the confidence that The Rock is serious enough to serve in the highest public office in the United States. I, I just really don't see someone laughing off homelessness uh, serving in the Oval Office as the president. I don't know that he was laughing off homelessness, but laughing at Gavin Newsom's hypocrisy there. But I mean, to your point about what Gavin Newsom said about referring to the situation as basically trash to be cleaned up, I hear your point that it could be taken as referring to the individuals who are suffering from homelessness. But the reality is that San Francisco is essentially a trash heap. And in many cases, these homeless encampments do lead to real public safety concerns and public health concerns. San Francisco is a place where 
you walk downtown and there's human feces on the street, there's used needles, all kinds of things that shouldn't have any place in a functioning city. And they've refused to do anything about it until they finally have this apex summit. And so I'm sure that residents there are quite upset about the fact that they apparently weren't deemed important enough for the city to be cleaned up, but the leader of communist China was. That's a serious problem. And recently, San Francisco, um, there was a, a private uh, venture capitalist who decided to hold a tour of what he called the San Francisco doom loop. And the tour didn't end up happening for a variety of reasons, mostly because he didn't want to lose his anonymity. But it was meant to show the degradation that's been happening in San Francisco over the past few years, particularly in the aftermath of COVID. And there was an alternate tour that uh, propped up or cropped up in response to this that was meant to show the positive side of San Francisco. And that tour went ahead as planned. And what happened was that the people who took that positive tour of San Francisco were so disillusioned by what they saw because as they were doing this tour, they had situations where mentally ill people were chasing after the group. They were walking over human feces. They found themselves uh, watching overdoses take place on the street. And it be quickly became clear that the problem was as bad as the venture capitalist was making it out to be in his initial plan for the tour of the doom loop. And so these people quickly found out that their idyllic version of the city was not what it was made out to be. It's fascinating to see what I would blame the tech bros in San Francisco on a lot of the tech executives, the industry that moved into San Francisco and really turned it into an expensive city to live in simply because a lot of these startups were oftentimes paying themselves incredibly high salaries, but people were making a lot of money working in tech in San Francisco. It became the tech hub of the United States of America. They drove rents up. There's been corporate capture of housing in San Francisco year over year. And when they can demand more money for rent and they have people with the salaries necessary to pay that rent, and the demand for rent increases so much because people who want to make it in tech want to move there. You have the pushing out of the everyday working people that make the city function. They have nowhere to go. Of course, they're going to be living in the streets in that circumstance. And so as the governor of California, Gavin Newsom, should have acted on this much sooner than President Xi Jinping visiting, but should have handled it not as a problem to be cleaned up because homeless people are making the city dirty, but an economic crisis that's caused by outside influence, people moving in to San Francisco, driving up the cost of rent. Perhaps there should have been housing regulations put in place before this happened, but Gavin Newsom is known for hanging out with the kinds of corporate donors to his campaign uh, at his, his wine properties where he grows a bunch of grapes on the coast of California, hanging out with them, taking donations from the same investors that have driven people out of their homes who grew up in San Francisco. To me, that's not a political leader. Uh, to me, that is someone who is only out for themselves, but I don't see The Rock as some kind of relatable alternate to someone like Gavin Newsom. I think we've got to get out of this phase that we've been in, frankly, since Reagan of wanting celebrities that are beloved across the country to serve in political office. I don't think he's much more equipped than Gavin Newsom is, unfortunately. We'll have more rising right after this.